Hey guys, good evening. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but you know, life is what it is. So, been busy. Anyway, um, I thought I'd come to you tonight. I have finally made my decision. I, as it stands right now, I'm going to go with the new Canoe Pursuit because I got a really good deal on one. Um, I'm also going to get my wife as it stands. Looks like she's going to go with a Kusa HD. That it... Last time I tried my hands at an unboxing. Everybody does unboxing. And I thought, well, crap. Maybe I'll I'll do it. Because I was excited. It was my very first time to ever, ever subscribe to one of those uh, boxing kits. And I loved it. But, you know, it had its ups and downs. And to be quite honest with you, when I first looked at it, I thought, man... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to catch anything on this or not, but I was wanting to try all the baits that I got because why not? I mean, you, you pay for the service, you get the box, you want to try them, right? So I tried it and boom, it was the first cast and the last because that bass snapped my line and ate the dead gum lure. And no matter how many things I tried to throw in here, I could, get in, could not get that dead gum thing to rebite. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to catch that sucker again and get my lure back but uh you know i did find a place online where i could buy some lures i don't think it's the exact one but it's similar enough to where it should work out pretty good anyway so i, I upgraded to the pro box and i'm not going to do an unboxing because to be honest with you too many people do that and i don't want to ride on anybody's coattails i want to kind of do my own thing so i'm just going to tell you some of my, my thoughts on what i got in there and whatever Okay, so first thing is this little sucker. Now, uh, these little crankbaits, I have had some success with it. Let's see if I can get it just a little bit closer to you. I've had some success with it, and it actually looks like a decent little lure. Um, so I, I, I'm definitely waiting to give that one a shot and hopefully come up with that. Now, this one... This one uh, is a topwater popper. Now it's pretty big, it's a lot bigger than what I'm used to fishing, but I guarantee you I am gonna definitely try this one because I can't wait. Uh, hopefully it'll land me something really big. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Now, um, outside of that, I mean, it came with some spinner baits, some hooks, uh, a jig, which is okay. And, of course, you know, came with uh, their plastics. This one looks pretty intriguing. Now, supposedly, these little guys change color. So, I don't know if it's actually going to amount to catching any fish with it, but if nothing else, it would be pretty cool to look at, right? It's like magic. Look, the lure changed, and it is now a new color. Oh, -ho! no, my luck probably not the color that I want to see but anyway you know I'm joking on it the other ones are subpar I'm not really going to go into that because I don't I don't think they're going to be all that great um, so that's really all I'm going to say about the pro box uh, I'm going to I'm going to stay with it because uh, I'm getting some baits that I would never buy on my own and it's going to be fun to try them out. And who knows? I mean, the last one hooked a decent bass. I know if I had got that bass in, it would have been my first bass of the year and probably one of the bigger ones I ever caught in my life. Now, I can't really... I'm not even going to go into how much I think it might have weighed because who the heck knows. I got a two-second look at the sucker before he took off with my lure and, and my line. Yeah, that's where I'm going to leave that one. The one that got away... <laughs> I'm a fisherman, but I promise you, it is not BS. I actually did hook a bass. But anyway, um, so hopefully next week I'll get to give you guys a look at the boat that I'm going to be in. I'm super stoked and excited, and I can't wait to get out there. I mean, even if the weather is bad, I am picking up an anchor wizard, and my happy butt will be somewhere... Because I can find some water sheltered from the wind somewhere on one of these three lakes. I guarantee you, I will be out there in that boat 
on my first day off. Promise you. I don't know if my wife's going to go, but I am definitely going to go. Uh, right? I've got a trailer, but it's not... I still have to finish rigging the lights to it, and I've got to finish painting it. It's a, it's a project, man. So uh, I'll show you after I get it all finished. I think on one of the earlier videos I showed you... It's kind of about where it was at when I shot the video, so it's, uh, you know, kind of half in, half out. And uh, I procrastinated a lot because, to be quite frank with you, when I get home from work during most days, the last thing I want to do is fool with the trailer. Uh, but uh, I am determined to get that thing up and going before we get our boats so that we can use it but I don't really care if I get a shot at going out there on the water I have no problem with throwing that kayak in the back of that truck and my happy butts on the way to the lake so stick around guys because it's about to get real finally huh so my long dark wait is about over I'd say within about a week and a half two weeks uh, our boats we ours and we are going to be out there now Catching fish? Whole nother subject. <laughs> but I guarantee you, I'm going to try. Now, I can catch fish a lot as long as I've got bait. Uh, because that's what I used most of my life. And I have used lures and I've caught a lot of fish on lures. Uh, but this time around, I'm going to try and fish mostly artificial because I just want to get better at it. I picked up an Abel Garcia Blue Max. And, uh, the only reason why I did is because I was able to get it from somebody dependable and it was only 20 bucks. Now, I don't know what those things retail for or if they even make them anymore, but uh, I think they was around 60 bucks or something like that. So I got a pretty decent savings and the reel was in good shape. I will tell you this. I, I tried attaching some light weights to it just to give it a shot to see. Because remember, I don't have any experience with these bait casters. Uh, and I wanted to see, man, it backlashed every day gum time when I tried to toss it. Now, don't yell at me, because remember, not a newbie here, but uh, I had 50 pound braid on it. <laughs> so probably not the best line to use with the light weight. But anyway, uh, I switched over and ran with a heavier weight, uh, a bigger <laughs> one that I might use, you know, if you if you included the, a good heavy Cinco and uh a tungsten weight or something you know uh, a good half ounce or something but uh, and I was able to toss it out there now I'm tossing it in my backyard because I just didn't have the option at the time to run out there and try and practice with it where I had distance to actually try and get a good cast out uh, I was able to get across the yard and it tried to backlash on me once but as long as I had sufficient weight I think I had it dialed in just right to where it did not want to try to backlash. But I also learned to use my thumb, which everybody talks about. So, you know, thanks for all the great advice and great tips from uh, a lot of you guys on your fishing channels. Love the advice because it is really kind of helping me out with my transition over into bait casters, which I really want to use because I want to get into that heavy cover. And I want to be able to pull these big bass out of that sucker. Because we have a lot of places around here where that's going to come into play. And, uh, man, I can't wait. Plus, I want to travel to some of those lakes that have a lot of that heavy cover. And I want to be able to get them out of there. Uh, so I got a decent rod and about a 7-footer. And then I picked up that Blue Max reel. So can't wait to try that out. Now, once I get good at it, uh, my goal is to upgrade to uh, a higher reel. Now, y'all are probably going to frown at me, but I want to go right to the Concept Z. That's my ultimate goal. My wife is sneaking in here to bust me while I'm trying to shoot a video. You know how it is, wives. Not to bust you. It is Valentine's Day, and instead of treating my wife out something nice, I'm talking about fish and stuff. But no, he got me sugar cookies with sugar icing on them. Like, I'm trying to lose weight, <laughs> but I love you. Yeah, because that's what she said she wanted. Just don't let her fool you. <laughs> she has a good way of making things out to be like it's my fault, but the truth of the matter is, she wanted those sugar cookies. Yeah, and here she comes to try and 
fill you guys full of water. I love her I so much. And I, I just can't breathe right now. It's, 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 she's going to blame me for that, right? <laughs> so, anyway, my lovely wife. Happy Valentine's, baby. Happy Valentine's, my love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go to sleep, or if I do, it'll be with one eye open at night. Anyway, <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, man, I'm over 80 now. Three weeks. Who'd have figured, right? A uh, little guy just talking to a camera and 80 something subscribers. More than that, I have been introduced to some awesome channels. Uh, now, my forte is fishing and tech channels, so I tend to gravitate towards those, and those are my favorites. But I've come across some really cool channels of you guys that have subscribed. Now, everybody that subscribes to my channel, I turn around and go right to theirs and do the same for them just to try and help us out us little small guys trying to make a break in it but uh, man it's awesome I like I said uh, like I always say I am fortunate I feel blessed and I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart uh, for uh, helping me out and uh, man, if there's anything I can do for you guys just let me know and I will return the favor anyway till then Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Remember, treat your woman good. Otherwise, you'll be like me, sleeping with one eye open. God bless. Ride the waves, y'all.